Welcome, BBR fans, to quarterfinals for BBR Season 7. We are your Montreal Habsols, and today we have a rematch against Goldo Dragon and his New York Empoleon. Now, the last time we faced off, we did take a very unfortunate loss, and by unfortunate, I mean nothing went our way that game. So we're looking to turn that around. Right now on the layout, I have Goldo's exact team that he brought to the last time we played, So, and I believe that was in Week 3. This is going to get updated, obviously. I don't expect him to bring the same six. However, I did insulate into pretty much everything on his team. So hopefully that pans out. But we are about to queue up. So here we go. All right. So here we are at Team Preview. And uh, Goldoa brought almost the exact same six, except no Wake. Instead, it's Muck. Interesting. Okay. So still no Torkoal, still no Heatran, still no Rillaboom. And now we have no Wake. I gotta update my layout as well. But first, we will be leading with our treads. Muck's a little low on the layout, but oh well. <laughs> All right, so that should be it. Uh, obviously, he's got an extra check to Spectre now, so that's really good for Goldoa, considering that I did bring a Scarfed variety this time. All right, let's get this game on the way. All right, Goldoa Dragon, what are your New York Empoleon leading with this week? Or rather, in quarterfinals. All right, so we have a an Iron Boulder lead. Interesting. Can this thing knock me out with Bandit anything? Let me see. Because we don't see Booster. Could be Weakness Policy. Something I'm going to have to consider. Uh, so Iron Boulder. Uh, close Combat from Choice Band. Could knock out my Treads. Uh, but this is Booster in Attack. Let's make that inactive. So, yeah. It's still a roll to knock me out. Heavily in his favor. So... We are going to switch into Yuxi and then get off a U-turn. If he Swords Dances, then I Foul Play, obviously, right? So Bandit might be able to two-hit KO Yuxi. I don't think so, but we'll see. We'll have to calc the damage. So Yuxi, Boulder. Let's put on Throat Chop. And Close Combat as well. What do you go for? Iron Defense. Interesting, okay. Well, I'm going to Thunder Wave this. That's for sure. So here we go. Thunder Wave. Goes for Taunt. Wow, okay. Interesting. But if it's just Iron Defense, it's probably Weakness Policy, right? That's the impression that I'm getting here, is that it's going to be Weakness Policy. So if I go for a U-turn, I'm going to trigger the Policy, and I could get in my Spectre. Would Spectre then KO? Probably not because he's at like plus four defense by then, right? So Yuxi's U-turn wouldn't put him in range. So at most foul plays doing 24. This is very revengeable. Also, I have a Fizz Death Primarina that doesn't do too much this game other than like check Luna sort of. So I can just hard switch into it and then I could sub. So let's do that. Let's try that instead. Because I don't want to trigger this policy because it's very clear that that's what it is. So here is Primarina. There's Mighty Cleave. Okay, that does a lot of damage. Is that a crit? That is not a crit. So this thing is just like max adamant, right? So Mighty Cleave again here, obviously not great for him. Swords Dance, uh, Swords Dance is counterintuitive because then Yuxi would be able to knock out with foul play. Also, his speed is not going up. So Spectre is an easy revenge kill to this at all times. I think Yuxi still has some application in this game. Here's the Mighty Cleave. This should not take me out. And that should put us in Torrent. And this is going to be a Torrent Boosted Surf. And that is a Dead Iron Boulder. Fantastic. So that goes down early. I'm going to put that down to zero. Now what's cool is that I can protect on anything that comes in so long as it's not another setup threat. My Treads is alive and at full. So Indeedy actually becomes less problematic. Because I can actually Ice Spinner away its terrain. In comes the Muck. Now, Muck can set up. I don't think you set up. So personally, I'm just gonna go for Protect. Now, what's interesting here is that if I go, in go for Protect, I could actually take myself out of Torrent. I don't think I do. The question just becomes, is that worth? Because then the next time I get Leftovers, I might pull myself out of, uh, out of range. Because I, I get 22 back, that's 88, 88 out of, hold on, let me pull up a calculator. Uh, so 88 divided by 353. Yeah, I'm still in Torrent, uh, even post-protect. 
And I think that might be worth it. I think it might actually be worth it just to scout what he wants to do. So we're going to go for the, the protect here. And we're going to see what move this muck has. Is it just poison jab? Is it just... It's just knockoff. Okay. So funny enough, knockoff actually won't take me out here from muck. So I could get two torrent boosted surfs off. If I really wanted to. Primarina still looks decent. Uh, but I don't know if it's worth necessarily keeping at 88. It could still be. It definitely could still be. Uh, the Vikavolt is a problem, but not so long as Treads is alive. Uh, alternatively, I could go into Salamence here because my item doesn't matter. We're Habanberry and he didn't bring his dragon. So we could just do that and just force this thing out. Right? And then just breaking swipe and damage anything that comes in. I think I like that better. So let's swap into Salamence. So we know that the Muck has knockoff. And we do know that our Primarina is at 88 HP, which is still within Torrent. So in comes Salamence. We're gonna get the Intimidate off. Let's see if he gets the immediate poison touch. Here's poison jab. It's it's very likely that he does. He doesn't actually. Interesting. Okay. So that's good for me. Uh, we can actually just go for the breaking swipe here. He's probably going to be fearing the earthquake and might even go straight into Halucha. However, Halucha plus Indeedee makes me think, once again, just like the last time, that the Halucha is uh, Psychic Seed. Which is a very real possibility. So here's Breaking Swipe. This does... That is 25. Not quite 35. Like 32-ish. So let's just see. He still doesn't get the Poison Touch, which is awesome. Um, and then Muck, we said was at 30... So 68, right? And we want to see how much it takes from Salamence. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. That's just like max HP Muck. I'm assuming it's like Spideff. Uh, so let's bring Muck down to so 67. Okay. So I could actually go for Dragon Dance here. Funny enough. And I don't hate that play because Goldoa seems insistent on staying in. So he finally switches out, but I don't know if this is necessarily going to save him. Here comes Skimmer. Scrimmer. This is the Ursaluna again. Okay. We get off the DD. So breaking swipe would have obviously lowered this thing's attack, which would have been great, but it's all right. Uh, we can just go for it this turn if we really want to. Uh, we also do not, do not see the Flame Orb. So that means that this Ursaluna is bound to be... I think it's going to be AV, if I had to guess. Now, I just want to see if Ice Punch takes me out at plus one. Uh, Ice Punch, take off this burn. Uh, sorry, not at plus one, at minus one. It actually does not. Um, well, from full. <laughs> from where I'm at, it probably does. But that's if he has it, right? So I could go for Roost to Scout. I don't hate that. In fact, I quite like that. So let's just go for Roost. So let's see if the Luna is going to Body Slam, if it's going to... It is going to Body Slam, okay. All right, so the Breaking Swipe should actually take us out of range of the follow-up Body Slam, which is nice. And then we can Roost it off. Assuming we don't get Para Full Parad, which would obviously suck. So this is really good damage on the Luna. This is pretty much Surf range, no matter what. So there's the Body Slam. We still see no Para. And we're going to see Leftovers. Okay. So now comes the question, do I want to keep this Salamence, because it's one of my better physical attackers, or am I okay with just having Scrafty and Treads? Uh, I think I'm okay with having just Scrafty and Treads, if I'm being honest. Because while the Intimidate is, is nice, Scrafty also has Intimidate. Uh, and I think I value the damage on the Luna from here. I just want to see how much Luna's at. That is at about the same, 67. Same as uh, as our good pal Muck. So we are just going to go for the Breaking Swipe here. Yeah. Breaking Swipe. We're going to sack our Salamence to get this thing down low. And lower its attack even further. Here's the body slam. Awesome. And we know that the Luna is leftovers and not AV. 
So interestingly, it can't really take hits from our Spectrier. So Muck is the only thing that can. Uh, now, based on that damage, what are we looking at in terms of Salamence's plus one breaking swipe? Is that like max HP? I think it, it's, it's close. It's close. So I don't think he's going to be max speed. Uh, and I think that my best play is to go into Primarina here and then just surf. I don't see a reason not to. It looks very free. And then we'll play from there. So yeah, we'll go Prim. And if he ends up being faster, then so be it. That's all right. But yeah, we're just going to go for a free surf here. And he has to assume at this point that I believe that I'm faster. So he lets his Ursaluna go down, which is cool. Uh, so now there's one normal type left. Uh, Psychic becomes more spammable as soon as the Muck goes down. So down goes the Luna. The Muck's at 67 and the other three are alive. Now, once again, I could protect, but now that I've revealed it, I don't want to do that because that is free setup turns. And that is something that I absolutely want to avoid. And if the Indeedee comes in, does it immediately go for expanding force? Probably, right? Because you want to hit the treads as hard as possible. So my thought process is maybe I just go hard Scrafty. It could be a throw if he Dazzling Gleams, obviously, but I don't think that happens. Uh, also, Primarina is probably my best revenging tool into the, into the Halucha post. Well, no, Spec's okay too. But Prim's probably still better into the Halucha post Encore. So here's Fiora. Here is the Ndidi. There is a Psychic Surge. And uh, seeing as I resist most of the stuff that this thing can go for with Treads, I believe Treads is my play. I don't think I risk Scrafty, because Scrafty is still really good. Uh, it can intimidate the Muck and the Halucha. It can Encore the Halucha. I think that Treads was our lead, and it didn't even get to stay in as a lead. And... Even if it gets to hit KO'd here, at least I get rid of the terrain. I could possibly get up rocks, which could hinder the Vikavolt. So I think we do go into Iron Treads here. And we'll see if Goldol wants to set up like a Calm Mind here. Um, I might consider just going for high horsepower. We do see the Terra. That's great. So that is baited immediately, which means he now lacks a normal type completely which means Shadow Wall becomes that much more free. So, in DD Terrain Center, how much do you take from high horsepower? 70, even if you're max HP? Sick. So here's Expanding Force. That doesn't even do half, thanks to us being Spideth. Uh, he does have one Mon off the ground. So my priority here is actually to go for, I believe... I think I can Ice Spinner this turn. I think that that's pretty safe. It covers Halucha, it gets rid of terrain, it hits the Vikavolt on the switch in, and Vikavolt has to hit me with like just energy ball. That's the only thing it can do, right? So I think Spinner is my play. So there's the withdraw. We see the Ndidi leave. And what's coming in? Ileana is who? This is the Vikavolt. So Vikavolt comes in. We go get off an ice spinner. This is going to break the terrain. It's going to do good damage to the Vikavolt. In fact, it does like 27%. So it's sitting at about 73. So we'll drop it there. And now we can get up our rocks, which can be very useful for chipping the muck. Uh, it could put us in a position where we could just Shadow Ball Sweep. Uh, the terrain is now gone. So that is something that uh, Goldoa actually has to get back up if he wants to turn the Halucha on. And that's going to be good. So here's Mudshot. That'll knock us out. So it's Mudshot or Energy Ball, right? Doesn't really matter. Point was, he needed to click a move that would knock me out. Now, I'm pretty sure that doesn't have to be Specs to knock me out. Well, actually, I'm very Spideff. Let me actually check that. Vikavolt versus Treads. Give me Mudshot. Um, 58. Max Modest. 49 to 58. I think I was higher than that. I was like at 160 something HP, right? Uh, I was probably just over 50. So there's no confirmation yet as to what this is. Um, but I like the idea of going Uxie because Uxie is kind of expendable. Not entirely, but 
If he has choice, he has to switch out because he's locked in too much shot. Uh, could take it as an opportunity to Thunder Wave something. Obviously, if I Thunder Wave into a Vikavolt and catch a Bug Buzz, that's not cool. But, oh well. Um, actually, you know what? This is better. We're going to go Primarina. This is definitely the better play. So Prim's in now. If he specs, um, if he's modest, which he has to be to knock me out with Mudshot, essentially, from where I was at, then I outspeed him. If he specs, he's locked in and he has to switch. So I think here, we can go for a sub. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Wow, that could not have gone better. That was the best possible turn for us, as now we get off a sub. We may even even be faster than the Vikavolt now. Well, if it's timid, then it wouldn't have knocked us out with much shot, right? So it pretty much has to be max modest to knock us out from there. And uh, Surf might KO, <laughs> funny enough, because we are in Torrent. Surf with, uh, let's say we're at 10%, 80% min. This is to 56 HP. If we give it max HP, it does 69% min. Uh, 75, 74. So there's a really good chance that Surf just takes this out here. So that's what we're going to play for. And now there is no safe switching. So it's either you essentially give up the Vika Volt for good, or you switch into something and essentially sack it. And Halucha is still checked by Terra Scrafty with Encore. I do believe that we'll be able to beat it with, with Encore. So here's the Surf. This should knock out the Vika Volt. Beautiful. Down goes the Vike. And that leaves the Muck, the Indidi, and the Halucha. And we're going to get back our leftovers. And what's really cool about Protect and Sub here is that I can stall out terrain turns to shut off Halucha completely. So in comes Fiora. And this is, of course, the Indini. Back goes up the Psychic Terrain. Now, my one worry is that if the Halucha itself is Encore. Uh, however, if Halucha switches in here, I can actually go hard Scrafty because there is no shot in hell you click close combat. I can just go hard Scraft. So here, I think it's just Protect. And I just want to see, am I going to be in uh, subable range? So I'm at 66 HP. That's 19%. I think I'm just going to have enough. Uh, so yeah, let's Protect. So here it is. There's Dazzling Gleam. Fantastic. So we're going to Protect that off. And now I have to see my exact HP number and see if it's above one fourth. So 352 divided by four is what? 352 divided by four. 88. I'm at exactly 88. So I actually cannot sub um, because that is my exact uh, amount of HP necessary to sub. So now we click Surf. We hope that it does a crap ton to the Indeedee, which it should because we are a Primarina in Torrent still. Right, and uh, I don't care how bulky Indeedee is on the special side, which it's not even that bulky. It's 6095. So if he's like fully offensive, this still does a metric shit ton. He's actually going to switch, expecting me to sub, I suppose. And this should be the Halucha. This is the Muck. Okay, so the Muck takes rocks and takes a torrent boosted Surf. This should be two hit KO'd, right? Unless he's Barry. Which it doesn't look like he is. Because I'm getting my leftovers. And Shadow Sneak should not break my sub. So I think my best play here is just a Moonblast. Uh, that could have been a misplay, actually. I think Surf might have still been in Torrent. It's okay, it died. We're good. <laughs> Alright. Down goes the Muck. And we know that the Indeedee is at 88. Or 87.5, right? So we'll put it at 87. And now the Halucha can't even Encore me. If it wants to come in and click Brave Bird just to break my sub, that's fine. In comes Fiora, once again. So this is actually really good because the terrain is still up. 
and we can just protect now. And at this point, now we sub protect down into surf range killing this. Uh, basically, just get ourselves down into um, back into torrent, and then the halucha never gets its item. Uh, alternatively, if he ever gets back up psychic terrain, I literally just win with Spectrier. <laughs> with psychic. So, uh, obviously the Halucha would outspeed me, but it doesn't KO me in one. So, here's the Dazzling Gleam. And now we're gonna find out if Goldoa goes into the Halucha hard and if it has Encore. If it has Encore, it's probably not set up, I wanna say. Right? So, let's just sub again. Primarina putting in the finest this game. So here's the Dazzle. Perfect. And the sub fades, and we'll get up another sub. Uh, we also know that the Ndidi is at 75, so let's drop that. Okay, so there's our sub back up. And now, does the terrain go away this turn or next? I think it's next. I want to say. Oh, no, it goes away now. Okay. Well, now we can just surf. Basically. And just win the game from here. Uh, yeah, I just surf. Here's the Dazzling Gleam. And now, if Surf doesn't KO this, that's actually the ideal. Is for Surf not to KO this, so that we can sweep the rest of the game with Spec. Here it comes. That is a Surf. It does KO. But Halucha cannot set up reliably. Also, it should not get a berry. Right? Because Psychic Terrain is no longer up. So we were able to control terrain really well. I really like the addition of Substitute on this Primarina. I believe we had Protect last time, but I didn't have Sub. And that made all the difference this time. And it looks like we're going to be advancing to semifinals. Now, I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch, as uh, the chicken itself comes out. But we will just Moonblast here. Here's Poison Jab, that's fine. All right. And now, very simply, we're gonna finish this off in style. I think I'm gonna go Scrafty, Terra, Encore, whatever he locks into, Spec beats him. Right, that's the play. If he locks in a Poison Jab, I can switch into Uxie and slow U-turn to get in my Spec. Just in case he's like Payapa randomly, right? I think that that's the play. So yeah, we go Scrafty. Here it is. I think this is the safest way to win. So we Terra. We Encore into whatever he clicks. If it's Swords Dance, we can go hard in Spectrier. If it's anything else, then we can go for uh, a switch into Uxie. And a slow U-turn into our spec. Obviously, close combat, I can go hard spec as well, right? So Swords Dance, Close Combat are covered. Poison Jab, uh, last move would have to be Brave Bird, right? Or Acro, if he was expecting to get the seed. Here's the Poison Jab. So we're gonna lock him into that. There's our Encore. And now we just go Uxie. We click Slow U-Turn, and Psychic should clean up the game from there. So it's just Uxie, that's just a Poison Jab. No poison. We slow U-turn. I could have even mementoed. Memento's probably even better that turn. But this is a slow U-turn. That should have been the second turn of Encore. Uh, one, two... This might be the last turn of Encore. I'm not sure. Uh, but I am just going to go into Spectre. And even if Psychic doesn't KO, we get off another Intimidate. And then we can just click Payback or Drain Punch at that point. So it's perfectly fine. So we just click Psychic. This is super effective. I don't see a berry. And down goes the Halucha, and your Montreal Habsols are into semifinals. A good game to my opponent, Goldoa. I think this, is, this was a much more telling match of, uh, of how this game not necessarily should have gone. I'm not saying that I should have won the first time. Goldoa had really good prep, but I would have preferred the game to go a little bit more smoothly like this in general, even having lost, uh, if that would have been the outcome. But 
very good game to Goldoa uh, and an excellent season, all things considered, even even despite the loss. Awesome team man. I mean, he took over for Dell, right? It's it's kind of hard when you have to take over for a team and just pick up the Mons that you didn't draft and work with it. And I think he did an excellent job. So GG's to Goldoa. If you guys haven't checked them out yet, make sure to go into the description and do so. All of the coaches' links are down there as, as well as, as, of course, Goldoa's most importantly. Go and check out his side of the game. And uh, if you guys haven't subbed to us yet, to, to the Montreal Habsols, to Astro J, to me, then make sure to do so. Leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace!